Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent cables of congratulations to kings and presidents of friendly countries on Christmas and the New Year. His Majesty the King wished the monarchs and presidents abundant health and happiness, as well as further progress and prosperity to their countries and friendly people, expressing hope that security, peace and welfare will prevail all over the world for the best interests of the entire humanity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent cables of congratulations to their majesty and their excellencies, the kings, presidents, crown princes and prime ministers of numerous countries on the occasion of Christmas and into the new year. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wished leaders health and happiness as well as further progress and prosperity for their countries and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister further expressed the hope that security, peace and better welfare would prevail throughout the world for the whole of humanity. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, lauded the victory of Team Victorious in the first place in the 100 km race on the UAE President Club Cup. Jockey Shahad, Shahad Al Ahmed won the cup, presenting outstanding levels and outperformed a group of her peers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the new achievement for the Bahraini endurance sports comes as an extension of a series of outstanding successes accomplished thanks to the constant support of His Majesty the King to the equestrian sports. His Highness noted that the outstanding performance and abroad participation of Team Victorious reflects the status of Bahraini endurance sports and its strong presence in all events, praising the efforts of the team and its new achievement. For her part, Jockey Shahad Al Ahmed expressed her thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for His Highness's continuous support to the team that contributed in this accomplishment and the victory of the first place. She also pointed out that the race was very hard and highly competitive, but because of determination and the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, the team managed to achieve this victory. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fozia bin Abdullah Zainal, has affirmed that the Kingdom has taken education as a basis for its progress in light of His Majesty the King's comprehensive development process, setting Bahrain as a modern model in the field of education and advanced scientific center. Zainal was speaking during her meeting with the President of Ain Shams University in Egypt, Dr. Mahmoud Al Matini, where she valued the great scientific development witnessed by Egyptian universities. In general, and Ain Shams University in particular in many scientific disciplines. Zainal commended on the relentless and continuous efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister for the pioneering work methodology to develop the educational process in the Kingdom and to give it a permanent priority. For his part, the president of the Egyptian University of Ain Shams said that the royal vision of His Majesty the King shaped a modern and advanced development in the region, noting the deep-rooted relations between Egypt and Bahrain. He also expressed the university's keenness on providing all the necessary facilities to the Bahraini students studying at Ain Shams University. Dr. al Matini has congratulated Bahrain for the launch of the first satellite, Light One, stressing the university's support to enhance cooperation in space sciences and scientific research with the university universities of the kingdom. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence has extended congratulations to the Christian community in Bahrain and Christians all over the world on Christmas and the New Year, wishing them many happy returns of the occasion. Engineer Khalaf stressed that the Bahraini farmers market celebrates this year healthy diets as a source of sustainability under the slogan, Our Food, Our Health. Engineer Khalaf has added that the slogan of the Bahraini farmers market this year was based on what was adopted by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, as part of its celebration of World Food Day last October by providing all kinds of support to Bahraini farmers and their efforts to introduce modern agricultural technologies into production pro processes in addition to supporting them in marketing their products. 
under the patronage of the Minister of Transportation and Communication Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, the Bahrain Society for Technology Company, the BTEC, honored the participants and supporters of the Bahrain National Gallery at JITEX 2021. This came during a meeting held on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of the Bahraini participation in this global technical event that is held annually in Dubai. During the meeting, it was announced that the registration would be opened in the Bahraini National Gallery at JITEX 2022 in order to enhance the presence of uh, Bahraini companies to display their products and technological solutions in the global market. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemned the terrorist Houthi militia's launch of projectiles towered the cities of Najran and Jazan in the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia, killing two civilians, a Saudi and a Yemeni, in Jazan and injuring others. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed the condolences of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the families and relatives of the casualties and governments of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Republic of Yemen, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The Ministry affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's solidarity with its brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia and vows for support for all the measures it takes to maintain its security, stability and territorial integrity. It calls on the international community to condemn these heinous terrorist attacks committed deliberately and systematically by the Houthi militia in flagrant violation of international humanitarian law. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism announced the closure of a restaurant for flouting the yellow alert level precautionary measures. The ministry also said that 28 restaurants and cafes were also violated for not complying with the precautionary measures. It said that the inspection visits were carried out in cooperation and coordination with the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Health and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority within the framework of intensifying inspection visits, which aim to ensure that the facilities adhere to the health requirements and procedures listed within the yellow level. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said that 23 men and women salons were also visited and two women salons were found to be in violation of some of the required health requirements. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health has announced that 1,198,777 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,172,954 had taken the second, and 794,760 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,121, with 40 recoveries, 221 registered new cases and no deaths. 52 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 134 are contacts of active cases and 35 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. <laughs> 